What is up everyone? We are back with today's reaction video and as promised today's reaction is part two of the Stargazer trilogy by Home Free. This one is called Stargazer Lilies and I, I might be wrong here but I'm 99% sure I remember reading somewhere that someone has told me the reason this is Stargazer Lilies is because Stargazer Lilies are Amber Lee's favorite flower which I find absolutely beautiful. I know that this kind of trilogy has been more or less dedicated to her when it was written by uh, Austin. Uh, I believe that the next two songs were about her and the first song was written before uh, Austin actually met her. But yes, this is Amberly's favorite flower and I can't wait to hear the kind of song that Austin has written and dedicated to her. So let's check this out. This is Home Free Stargazer Lilies. Please check out the original below so you can see it without all my pausing and give it some love because they deserve it. And they deserve to see that their incredible, incredible original music is so loved by everyone. So please go and like and check out the original video. And we're going to get straight into this reaction. This is Home Freeze, Stargazer Lilies. Oh my god, that's so cool how they've done that. Is that the time lapse? No, you won't mind, but I I took your car when you were sleeping Got it cleaned and filled it up A little coffee to drink in the morning On the front steps while the sun is coming up Ooh. Already that those lyrics are so sweet. He sounds great seeing it, by the way. But already those lyrics are so sweet because... I'm really big on love languages. Like that's something that's really important to me is understanding your partner's love language. And I've had relationships that have failed or had issues because we didn't understand each other's love languages. And right there, he took her car, cleaned it, got it. He's looking after her. He got them coffee so that in his mind, they can sit together and like have a nice morning together. And he did all that while she was sleeping because he just wants to have that beautiful moment with her. That is so cute and romantic. I love that so much. That's like an acts of service type love language. And I just, I love it so much. It's so cute. Oh my God. Okay. I don't know how else to say you're rare and beautiful. The way you see the world and teach me things that I should know. And I know it might sound silly. Stargazer lilies are hard to find too. If I ever had a doubt, it's all gone now. Girl, I love you. Hallelujah. All of my dreams and all my prayers came. Stunning. Ah, oh, like they sound amazing singing it anyway, but it's just, you can tell that this is a man who it's not that he's written a love song. It is that he has spent hours trying to think up the perfect words to tell Amberly how much he loves her, the way that she's improved his life and what he, she means to him. And it's so gorgeous to see if, if, if you're in a relationship and you don't wish that you could sing just so that you could basically do this, you do it like that. That is just my dream. I would love to be able to sing and write music to anywhere near this level, just so I could find a way to express my feelings. Cause I feel like music and songs express that kind of thing so much better. Art in general expresses that so well. And the idea of being able to do that, this is just such a beautiful, beautiful thing to see on Austin's part that not only can he do that, but he's been brave enough to, and he's wanted to, and he's done this as, ah, oh, it's just so sweet. I love it so much. It's making me fall so much more in love with Austin, but at the same time, I'm like, it, it's just making me go, Austin and Amberly. I, I now ship these guys to the end of the universe. Nothing can ever come between them. My heart is so full right now. I hate to say it, but I lost faith there for a while. Then you showed up at my door my heart began to smile again cannot pretend you're anything but perfect to me oh yeah god gave me you and now i believe girl i love you hallelujah all of my dreams and all my It's a miracle that I'm with you. 
love everything about this song and film clip so much. Oh my God, I'm in love with this. <laughs> this is just giving me all the warm fuzzies on like such a different level. The first song was great, but this is just, it's so much more to me because like even just that moment when he showed up with the flowers and she kind of took them off him and was like, had this cute little moment. Oh, that's so nice. And then it just, the camera just kind of stopped on him just looking at her walk by. I can't tell you how many times with my partner that it's just like, he's just doing his own thing. He doesn't notice me, but I, I see him. And you're just blown away by how beautiful a person can be. And they never know that you've had that moment looking at them. But it was such a beautiful thing to include in this clip, the way that he was looking at her there. And like, I know that that was obviously probably orchestrated for the film clip, but he, you can tell he's a man that does that 20 times throughout his day while she's just hanging washing on the line while she's just doing the dishes. He's looking at her going, she's an absolute queen. And it's so cute to see. Oh my God. I love this so much. It's giving me a completely different reaction to any other uh, song that I've listened to because I know the story of where it's come from and you can see it. You can see it's not fake love that's been orchestrated to sell a song you can see that this is a guy wanting to show his emotions in the rawest and truest possible way. And I love it. Oh my gosh. That ending though, I don't want him to be back on the bus. I want all that to have been real for him. And I know that it is in real life, so it's okay. It's, they, they're getting there, but it's just like, oh, I feel like now they're out on tour and he's missing her to that level, um, which I imagine he is every time they do go on tour, but that's still so beautiful. My God, that is how you do a love song, guys. Oh my God. I've never really noticed like how much of a difference and how monumental a difference there is between the kind of, I don't want to say manufactured, but because I know that whoever's written the songs have written them with these kind of feelings in mind, but still sometimes when a song's performed by a, an artist on the radio, it just doesn't hit the same way. The, the emotion gets lost somehow with how it's produced. This was written, performed, designed, arranged as a love letter straight to her. And it's so beautiful. What he says at the start about her being so perfect and so unique. And then he says that stargazer lilies are hard to find as well. So he's comparing her to her favorite flower. Ah, oh, that's so cute. That is so, so cute. That's what I mean that he's obviously taken so long to write this song and picked the words so carefully because to take something that she loves and use it as a metaphor for her, that is gorgeous. That is songwriting at its finest. Um, this, I am such a sucker for storytelling and for good, good writing in a song. And this went 110% with that. You could not ask for a more perfectly written love song. And I know it's not going to hit with everyone. This isn't the kind of song necessarily that 2 million people are going to have as their wedding song. But for them, you could not write a more perfect love song. And it's still written in a way where it can apply to everyone. I could play this for my partner just as easy. Well, 
it says girl. But other than that, I could play this for my partner just as easily as anyone else could and their partners are still going to melt. But it's just a thing of that it's it's got such a deeper meaning for them and I love that so, so much. Uh, honestly blown away by this one, Home Free. 10 out of 10, Austin for writing. And the vocals, as always, were incredible. I didn't comment on the vocals much because I was so blown away by the video and just the lyrics for this one is the thing that's impressed me so much, but they always sound incredible. And again, this was another one that like, give me a sign. It's not vocal acrobatics. It's not ridiculous all over the place. It's just, Hey, look, we can write a damn song and we can do it. And they did. So 101 points for this, 150 million points for this. Jeez Louise, absolutely blown away. I can't wait to see part three. Now I need to see it so, so badly because if this is part two, how can they go anywhere from here? Like, I can't imagine going to another level above this. Thank you all so, so much for watching the video to this point. Uh, please check out the original below. It is, uh, it deserves all the love in the world for writing like this. Oh my God, it deserves everything. Uh, also, please leave a like, a comment and a subscription. It helps out the channel so much. By the time you're watching this or possibly very soon after, the channel will have hit 5,000 subscribers. So thank you all so much so much for all the support you've given because it means so much to me. Uh, but yeah, we've, we, we, if we've hit 5,000 subscribers then I've put out a bonus video that you all should check out. Um, but failing that, please also check me out on Patreon. I have multiple tiers where you can get access to our Discord community with awesome, awesome people who have been telling me all about this song and how badly I need to react to it. Uh, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time of day it is there. And I'll see you next time. Bye.